way. You know, if you are a border border rider and you respect yourself, you will have a helmet. If you are a border border rider and you respect yourself, you will respect, respect your machine. If you are a, a matatu driver, you will dress well, you will come to your job, you respect your machine, you respect your life, you want to live long. If it starts from there, then the government of Kenya partnering with you can help you in it through the, uh, uh, um, the financial mechanism that has been put in place, a hustler fund. We can move further to ensure that we source funding for you to start your business. We can move further to do many other things. And Your Excellency, since this strategic plan puts partnership at the center, I want to request our drivers and riders work with the ministry to solve this issue. The other very important partner, Your Excellency, is the county government. I have requested Your Excellency in writing that the next summit considers road safety as its most important agenda. Your Excellency, we have 2.5 million motorcycles in the country. About 1.8 million are active. And these active uh, border border riders, Your Excellency, need to be organized. We will not be able to organize them at, the, at Nairobi. These are transport mechanism of last mile. And as Honorable Sakaja has said, during the next summit, Your Excellency, under your leadership, let us discuss how to empower the counties, including, Your Excellency, the resources we will raise from instant finding and other mechanisms being sent to county governments to help them do road safety. Let them define where the border border riders will operate from. Let them define the, the registration of border border riders. For Honorable Sakaja to sort security in this city, he must be able to manage border border sector and I believe your excellency in the next agenda as part of the strategic partnership you will help us to make sure that counties yeah, I would have expected that this meeting because of the greater outrage we had you know in the last one month every county leader and at least the council of governors would have considered this function extremely important because if we are going to sort the road accidents issue we have to deal with border border you know why your excellency the leading cause of accidents in the country is border borders now. 2000, the year 2000 to 2008, it used to be the public transport vehicles and private vehicles. But today, we lose the percentage of loss that we have. 38% of the people will lose, Your Excellency, are pedestrians. 32% are border border riders. And Your Excellency, followed now with the passengers who are 26% caused by PSV vehicles and private vehicles. Meaning, therefore, that if we have to reduce accidents, including the pedestrians that are knocked every day in the city of Nairobi and other parts of the country, we have to sort out the border border sector because that is important. And the question we should ask ourselves, how come our neighbors, our neighboring country, has managed to organize border border sector that everybody dutifully is able to wear a helmet your Excellency, including the passenger. Now, if you come to Nairobi and you tell our Nairobi queens that you need to wear a helmet, they tell you oh, it's smelling or oh, it's messing up my, my hair, Your Excellency. Which is more important, your hair or your safety? And it is proven, Your Excellency, that if you have an accident with a helmet, you are likely to survive, Your Excellency, because most of the injuries go to the head and they are the most uh, uh, difficult injuries also to, uh, to, 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 to deal with. Your Excellency, um, we have... In this uh, strategic uh, uh, st plan, Your Excellency, in this plan, we have put technology on the forefront. Your Excellency, thank you very much because you have been calling every day to find out where are we with the instant finding system. Thank you, Your Excellency, because on your travel to Korea, as your first travel in the first year, you managed to secure and support a fund that will ensure that we have ITS system in the Nairobi city, Your Excellency, in uh, uh, about 80 junctions. Thereafter, in your trip to China, you also negotiated a fund, Your Excellency. We are going to have another 200 junctions on ITS system in Nairobi city. You will, we will welcome you, Your Excellency, to come to the Kora's headquarters to see the pilot project, what it does, and what resources we are going to raise through enforcement instant enforcement of traffic. We are in the tail end of negotiations and conversations with the private sector. We should be able in the, by the end of this year to put in the most of the hotspots, which is actually the A8 road from Mombasa to Malaba, Your Excellency, we should be able to put speed cameras. I will be gazetting in another uh, to one week or so the task force that will work on the smart trans 
transport system, which will encompass the police, the judiciary, the county government, the national government departments, including NTSA, to work on the legal framework for that enforcement. And uh, with that, Your Excellency, we hope that we will make even greater recommendations on the in, uh, uh, amendment of the, info of the Act. We are not just putting technology for enforcement, we are also putting technology uh, not just for uh, the road speed, uh, uh, roads, Your Excellency, but vehicular telematics. Vehicular telematics, you saw it, Your Excellency, in the demo here. And it's already being used by transport companies, by PSV companies. That technology is going to sort many problems in this country, especially in the education sector. We have agreed with my colleague in education that we will make sure that this becomes mandatory for all our schools, that they can be able to monitor all the buses as they travel across the country. I can speak and speak on this subject, Your Excellency, because it's extremely very important for us uh, I gave a directive the other day that we need to move the markets from the roads. Your Excellency, you, this is a bottom-up government. You have prioritized markets across the country. And every county now has two or three markets. We were with you in Dondiani around the area where an accident occurred, and there is a market you launched there. We have a market, I'm sure, coming up near Kangemi here, Your Excellency. The serious accidents that have happened along the markets in the highways requires, again, a serious partnership with the county government so that we provide the markets off the road. We have promised under Kenya that we will make sure that we have access roads that people can drive to the market because many Kenyans would like to uh, b purchase their goods when, while still inside the car. We'll make sure that they can drive through, Your Excellency, the way we have in other joints all over the world drive through so that they can buy their goods and go. But their markets must move from the road because Kangemi is a disaster in waiting if we are not going to be serious on this issue. Your Excellency, I'm passionate about this subject because it's about saving lives. And I believe that in this ministry, working together and joining the partnership uh, based on the plan, I don't want to say more than that because uh, it's your responsibility today, Your Excellency, to help us launch this very important plan. We will come back to you, uh, Your Excellency, again, as I said, under the summit. And then thereafter, we will have this plan hopes that we now have a comprehensive policy on road safety that we are going to develop and bring to the Cabinet, Your Excellency, so that for the first time since 1963, this country will have the first comprehensive policy on road safety that, that, demarc that uh, mandates everybody Road design now are being done independent of road safety. So we want now to do road designs integrating road safety, road markings, road designs providing for non-motorized transport. 42% of the people in Nairobi walk on foot, yet we have put more concentration on vehicles, Your Excellency, well less than 10% drive themselves to come to the city. The others use public transport system. So what are we going to do? Let's be like other cities in the world. Today in Nairobi, those people are walking, Your Excellency, because they cannot afford a car. They all dream that they can afford a car or public transport system. But in the other parts of the world, countries like Sweden and other places, including where uh, Ambassador Narieta comes from, people are walking by choice. They prefer going to work, despite having cars, devices, all these kind of things. Your Excellency, again, we are going to make sure that this policy is going to have all this integrated together in a national policy. Without any further uh, statements, Your Excellency, it is now my greatest honor, privilege, to invite His Excellency President William Samoy Ruto to come and launch for us the plan. Let's put our... Come, His Excellency the President. Thank you very much.